they split up. How old were you? Four or five, it's kind of blurry. I blamed my mom and I just wanted a family. When you're 16, you're obviously not mentally in the space to be raising a child because you are a child. Hi, Daddy. I can't imagine the pressure for me. My dad has a lot of regrets and he would be like, I'm sorry, Mia, I just, I don't know how to talk to you. I used to go to Hooters all the time with my dad because all the pretty girls would be like, oh, look at her, because I was so young. I miss him a lot. Selena Gomez's father is not the man you would expect him to be. When she was five years old, he abandoned their family. And as Selena started working in the entertainment industry and bringing in the money, her father Rick was out getting arrested and causing their family chaos. So let's get into it. Selena Gomez is an undeniably successful person. Whether it's makeup or music, she's got it down. But even she has her weak moments, and one of those include her father. His name is Rick Gomez, and if you're a big Selena Gomez fan, you may not know much about him because they don't have much of a relationship. Which is unfortunate because Selena is so talented, she's a superstar, so why wouldn't her father want to be a part of her life? We've learned a lot about Selena over the years because she's been very open. She's been a star since she was a child. She's done some documentaries. We've learned about her mental health issues, the whole Justin Bieber situation, and we've learned a little bit about her family, especially her mother Mandy, because Mandy is an important figure in Selena's life. Selena was raised by a single mom who was the main driver of her career as a child star. Keep in mind that Selena didn't just start off on the Disney Channel with the Wizards of Waverly Place. She was also on Barney, so she's been working working since she was a very young kid. Her biological dad wasn't in the picture much while she was growing up, so a lot of people have questions about him. He's still alive, he's still around, but their relationship is a little bit rocky. Let's take it back to when Selena's mother, Mandy, was in high school, because she and Selena's father, Rick, met when they were just kids, and she gave birth to Selena when she was 16 years old, so they're already starting off on a really rough foot. Here's Mandy, Selena's mother, talking about how this moment of getting pregnant at a young age changed her life. You're obviously not mentally in a space to be raising a child because you are a child and you're trying to figure out um, who you are. And even in some of my really hard times, I feel Selena came into this world at the perfect time because I was really lost myself and I wasn't going down the right path. And then when I found out I was pregnant, I was like, oh, I have someone who's going to, I'm responsible for, and they're gonna look up to me for guidance. And even at a young age, that hit me, and I'm thankful that that hit me. When you're 16 in that phase, you're trying to figure out your path in life. And I think I kind of lost a little path of my life because I had something more important to, to like take over. Naturally, Mandy and Rick ended up getting married. They were young, they had a kid on the way, and they were gonna try to make it work. But when she was five years old, her parents ended up splitting up. So Selena split time between living with each of her grandparents. After they divorced, Mandy and Rick established separate lives for themselves. Selena hasn't discussed her father much. We will talk about the moments she has, but she did say to Pop Sugar that she blamed her mother for her parents' split, which is kind of in Tens. She said, I blamed my mom for a lot of the divorce because I wanted a family so bad. I wanted to have my mom and dad together. I remember just being angry with my mom. I still feel really bad about that. Her mother Mandy was trying to make ends meet by working three jobs at once. Selena recalls how she and her mother dug into the couch cushions in search of gas money. After that, they'd take a late night stroll to the next dollar store to pick up some spaghetti for dinner. So Selena didn't have it easy at first. I mean, her mother had her when she was 16, and by the time she was like five years old, she was single and now living with her parents, working three jobs. I mean, that sounds incredibly difficult, and I'm sure Selena did blame her mother because her mother was in the picture. Her father really wasn't around as much, so she she was easily able to blame her mom for the divorce because it's like the only parent that she's seeing. Then there was a time when they split up. How old were you? Uh, I believe I was about four or five. It was kind of blurry. And what do you remember about that time? Um, it was confusing um, just because I didn't really know what was going on. And, and plus, my parents were 16 and 17 when they had yeah. me. So uh, it was it was I never really understood it. 
And to be honest, I think I, I, I blamed my mom and I just wanted a family. And then realizing growing up, my mom did all of the right decisions. And at what point did you have that realization about your mom? I'd have to say probably when she met Brian, which is my stepdad. It, it was really hard for me to accept my stepdad. You know, I was sure. still really young. I was eight. I wanted my family together. And then all of a sudden, I just realized how happy my mom was. And Brian took on this dad role. And then I felt like I had the family that I wanted. So Selena's mother moved on. She got a stepdad, but her father still wasn't really around, but he was at little points in her life. Selena was actually living with her mother before they even filed for divorce. And it did take a bit of time for Rick to come back into Selena's life, but he eventually had a purity ring gifted to her. He has become an internet phenomenon and had a substantial following on Instagram for some time while Selena became more famous in entertainment, but he has removed his social media accounts and have become more private. Like I said, Selena's been an open book throughout her career and there hasn't been a lot of mention of Rick. This report writes that years passed with no evidence of communication between the father and daughter, prompting fans to believe that she has had a terrible relationship with her parents. Rick has also remarried since their divorce. He and Sarah have a daughter and a stepson together. It kind of seems like Rick, you know, found a new family and then moved on and Selena just wasn't really a priority for him. Selena never really had a bad relationship with her father ever, but it just wasn't great either. Their dad basically disappeared after he and Amanda got divorced. No one really knows if he even paid child support since Amanda had to work three jobs and was somewhat supported by her own parents. But he wasn't exactly a bad dad, just not a good one either. Fortunately, after he got married, it seems like he left behind his old habits. Now let's get into some of the shady things that Rick has done. Before we get to the really like weird moments, let's talk about how he never really approved of her being a star in the first place. I guess one of his excuses for not being active in his daughter's life is because he didn't want to be part of the industry life. Which I'm like, hmm, why did he have a social media for years while you became famous yet? And, you know, he probably liked all those followers yet. He doesn't want to be part of the industry life. He said, no, that's you and your mother's journey. I will, you know, hang out with my new family. It definitely seems like Mandy is a stage mother. Like, she's definitely that type, like, who pushed her daughter onto the scene and, you know, she essentially had a career at a very young age. I don't know if that's, you know, bad in this case because it does seem like she's supportive, but it's something to know. Now let's talk about this weird article I found where supposedly Rick would take Selena as a young kid right after their divorce to, you know, certain places to try to use her to pick up women. This is bizarre. She was only seven years old when Rick would take his daughter out to eat so that he could hit on waitresses that thought she was adorable. Selena said that this was their thing. He noticed that women seemed to love her, so he would ask her mom for her for a while, and he used her to pick up the ladies while they were out. It's a pretty disgusting story. And Selena has actually shared this story before on her cooking show. I used to go to Hooters all the time with my dad. Yes! Because all the pretty girls would be like, oh, look at her, because I was so young. But uh, anyway, they had this peel and eat shrimp. That's my absolute favorite. And they have like butter and this Cajun, like, seasoning on top and it's so yeah you had like a peel and eat shrimp selena has made subtle hints to her relationship with her father throughout the years and in different projects and while she's promoting them for example while promoting hotel transylvania 3 selena told pop sugar that she and her character marvis had some similarities because they both had single fathers but they are worlds apart i mean she's nothing like dracula's daughter but she said that you know what they have a common experience of not having a father present in the film selena's character arranges a family cruise as a way to give her father some much needed time off. Yet Selena's character had no idea that her father wasn't feeling well because it's not like fatigue, but it's isolation. That's why her father was feeling sad. And Selena actually claims that she has a similar experience with her own father because she didn't want her father, like her mother Mandy, to move on to a new person. She said she didn't like the idea of seeing her dad with anyone else, and that kind of caused him to isolate in a way. Unfortunately for Selena, it's seems like she had a father who just wasn't ready for her. He was 17 years old when she was born and he just didn't know how to become a parent. And she's gotten very emotional speaking about this because like 
I mean, there was even one line I heard her say where she said like her father just didn't even know how to really speak to her. Like he, he's like a young man. He doesn't know how to talk to a little girl. And that's just sad that he wasn't able to bond with her in the way that her mother Mandy was able to. Yet Mandy was out here working three jobs. So it's not like she was really around either. Hi, Daddy. I can't imagine the pressure for me. My dad has a lot of regrets and he would be like i'm sorry me i just i don't know how to talk to you but he made me feel like i was the like prettiest young girl like i could do anything and like, no one was worthy and like so i miss him a lot but he knows that so in recent years, it seems like Rick has grown up and he has somewhat of a relationship with Selena. I think she'll always have like daddy issues because of that. And I mean, who wouldn't in that type of situation, especially going through so much that she went through in the entertainment industry, like not having her father there and like just the complicated relationship just adds to all of that trauma being so much worse. In recent years, we have seen him more active on social media. He has put up his account. He deletes it. He goes online and offline, but he does tend to post for Selena about how proud he is of her and for her birthday and things like that. So he's trying to have an active role and I'm sure he is like not to be like negative Nancy right now, but like if your daughter Selena Gomez making all that money, like do you think some of it could be like financially driven? It's like she he wasn't there during the hard times, like when, you know, Mandy was like walking to a dollar store to go and get some spaghetti. Should he be like eating the caviar now? I mean, that's up to Selena, but it's just something I... It's such a negative mindset, but like, that's just where my mind went. He mentions her on his Instagram account now and then. On Selena's birthday last year, dad sent her a touching letter that said, no one in this world can love a girl more than her father. Although she doesn't actually follow her dad on Instagram. So who knows if she even read that. By the way, she does follow her mom. Plus, Ricardo posts more about his younger daughter than Selena. So maybe they still do have some bad blood between them. Not to mention, she also has a stepdad. When her real real dad disappeared from her life, her stepdad appeared. Unlike the rep most stepdads get, Brian Tife actually tried his best to support his family. She talked about her stepdad a lot in her documentary, more than her real dad. That's how much of an impact he had in her life. Now, there are some people, you know, if I don't include all the opinions, it's just not a Sloan video. There are some people who also think that Mandy's kind of like the monster in this. I found one blog that explains this, but really like take it with a grain of salt. So this person is a source and claims that when Selena was growing up and getting into Barney and commercials and getting money, Mandy, her mother, didn't want Rick, her father, coming around and spending their money. So Mandy would tell Selena that Rick walked out on them and wanted nothing to do with them and Selena believed it. She didn't think her father wanted anything to do with her. That's part of why she's so bitter. She thought her dad never loved her. She thinks this new baby that he's had with his new wife is the reason why Rick left them. So she wants nothing to do with his baby or family. I guess Selena wasn't around when Rick had his daughter Victoria and that's probably what they're alluding to but again this is just like a source passing along information. There's really no one to attribute this to. So maybe Selena's a little bit bitter as she should be and we've seen this throughout the years in press and even in moments where she speaks highly of her mother who's supposedly evil and says that she was scared of her father as a kid What's the biggest gossip you've ever heard about yourself everything uh i've been married i've had a few babies <laughs> don't know where they are <laughs> so when your mom would get super mad at you what would she say no my mom my mom would just say selena marie, selena marie. My, yeah my dad would be like back off before we close out this video, if you guys know me, I want to talk about someone's criminal history. If someone's got one and it's on record, let's just talk about it. So yes, Selena's dad was once arrested over drunk driving and having a pistol. This was back in 2002, so clearly he was not really involved in Selena's life at age 26. Remember, he left the mother at what? Like, so that would have been three to like 22. So it's a few years after the divorce, and I guess he was like drinking and driving he did a breath 
breathalyzer, and he had a handgun. Luckily, the weapons charge was dropped after he pleaded guilty to the DWI. One source said that Selena is close to her dad and didn't want to bring up the past, but of course she's disappointed he has a record. And here's that booking information. Um, Yeah, I mean, he was, I guess he wasn't that young, 26 years old. I mean, you should know better by that point, but clearly he wasn't on the set of Barney. He was doing things like this. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Leave a comment on your thoughts. I feel like this story is kind of relatable because not everyone has a perfect relationship with their parents. So I feel like it makes Selena kind of like more likable, even though it's something that's, you know, going to haunt her for the rest of her life. But like kudos to her for being open about it. And, you know, she hasn't spoken a lot about her father, but we can see that there's something wrong there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye guys.